y'all welcome if you are here for cube content you've come to the right place we're jumping into a vintage cube here where we're going to play some kiki combo shenanigans showing you the deck up front and you can figure out if you would have drafted this deck the same way this deck's featuring kiki some shenanigans with pester might ragavan a little monkey action dak fading to steal the artifacts and mox ruby to get there faster so here we go into the draft and match one. All right, pick one, pack one, Mox Ruby power, let's go. Fury versus Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond is a good card, gotta pitch a land though. Fury is pretty unique in its effect, clearing some board and can cost no mana. Both these cards lose some card advantage, but let's, I think after first picking a Mox Ruby, let's just take the Fury here. Is it Signet, Spell Pierce, not looking at PZ, or past in flames. Geeky Jackson and Matt Grenier don't like picking up signets, but I think I'm gonna take it here. Bone Crusher Giant versus Days versus Miscalc. So if we wanna be aggressive in red, we can pick up the Giant. Otherwise, Miscalc and Days are both pretty decent blue cards. Days can really get some folks, and casting spells for free is really good in the cube. Fury, Days can both be cast for free. I think we take it here. All right, here I think we snap up this Snapcaster. Way better than Char. Choice is Gilded Drake or Porcelain Legionnaire. Gilded Drake's more controlling. Legionnaire, obviously more aggressive. We'll take the Gilded Drake. Its effect is more unique than the Legionnaire's if we're looking for just some aggressiveness. And we have more blue cards than red. Snap up this fetch here. It's a blue fetch, and it will help us with fixing for any blue dual land we pick up. Fable versus Unholy. Fable's just very unique in the cube in terms of its effect. Does so much for so little. Glenelendra, I think, is the pick here over Treasure Cruise. I don't like Seagate Stormcaller this early. If it wheels and you already have Time Walk, fine. Baral's the only card for us here. I guess we'll take a Past in Flames because it's red. We can hedge here on a sunbaked canyon, just a little fixing for white in case we get a fractured identity later in the draft. <laughs> Full tag, visionary. This card is horrible. Don't sleep on Witherbloom Command. That card's pretty good in the vintage cube. This is an easy ponder here. No oh, monkey, get in the deck. We take the incinerate here, need more interaction. It's either that or the Lava Mancer or the Cloudscape, but we'll take incinerate. Works well with Snappy. Firebolt's the only pick here. Consideration for walking Ballista, but Snapcaster, Firebolt, working out well. Choice here is between Steamkin, which I do not like, and Narset. Our deck's not looking like a Narset deck right now, but it is a pretty unique effect here in the Vintage Cube. Not sure if she'll make the deck, but I think we pick up Narset here. Lelia, come on down. You're the next contestant in our red-blue deck. All right, there's a Pestermite and a Trap, but no green. Pestermite's the only real card here for us. Maybe a dig through Tom, but I like Pestermite more. We can hedge on getting Kiki. Haven't seen that card yet, so it might still be going around the table. Counterspell, okay. Need more fixing for this card to work well in our deck. Ooh, Imperial Recruiter's nice. Fetches up basically almost any creature we've picked so far. Here's a miss. Sure, let's pot it up. Grim Grim Lava Mancer. Electromancer may make the deck, we'll see. Doesn't really help us too much. Round and out pack two. Yeah, Ignite Memories. Deuces. And unfortunately, we're not going to weld anything here. Pack three, real weak for us. Not looking for Ancestral Vision. Maybe the Bloodthirsty Adversary, but we don't have a lot of spells right now. Just for aggressiveness. Fimage versus Charted Course or Shield Breaker. I want more interaction, so I think let's pick up Embreath here just to destroy some troublesome artifacts. Treachery's the strongest card. Murktide's interesting, but Treachery's just very strong. Consecrated Sphinx is really strong as well, and I'm not looking for Koth right now as we're not mono red, so we'll take the Sphinx. Wow, a lot of great cards in here. Brazen Borrower's awesome. Inferno Titan would be good too. So is Bribery. Bribery's just also very strong, can win on the spot, so we'll take it. There's a Kiki. Okay. Game plan coming together. Dak Faden. Nice. Let's take the fixing here. We really need it. We did not get any other dual lands. Well, another miss on a pack. Fimage, easy pick. There's a Murktide. I don't know if we have enough spells to play that card though. Yeah, not playing any of these. Get out of here, Koth. Ooh, Infernal Titan. That's actually pretty good. Advantage and Smokestack. All right, here we go. All right, match one, game one, Kiki combo, red-blue deck coming at you. This is an easy mulligan. Send that one to the cat. And oh no, 
I think we're gonna have to go down to five. I just, we cannot keep a hand with no red mana. So, cat's eating twice tonight. All right, this hand will keep, we'll at least put back a mountain. And I don't know how great Grim Lava Mancer is gonna be here. We do have a Firebolt, but I wanna flash that back. So it, I, I kinda wanna keep both lands. That way I know we'll be able to cast the Pestermite and we'll put the Grim Lava Mancer back. All right, on the play, we'll get down our land and the Mox Ruby, and pass it over to our opponent. Shout out to Gallant Lee here. He's a, he's a viewer and a Twitter friend, so good luck, have fun. He's out on a soul ring, so we're already losing. Let's crack the Misty here. We'll get out an island, and I'm going to tap that soul ring on upkeep. That'll take him off mana for one turn. Pester Might, tappy tappy. Weather Bloom Command. Oh, that was a blowout. What does this card do? Destroy my creature, destroy my mox. Yep, keep your eye on that card. Brawl coming down. Tireless Tracker. Making a clue token. Dismembering my Brawl. And an Elvish Reclaimer. That was three spells that turn. All right, day's not looking great here. So the Firebolt needs to take out one of these creatures. If they're in the lands archetype, Elvish Reclaimer is very dangerous. So let's take out the Reclaimer. Five mana to my two, totally fair. Tireless Tracker doing that tracking thing. Scoos. See you later, Firebolt. And another clue. What do we even want to draw here? Land, okay. Maybe we can treachery the Tireless Tracker. Kind of far from that though. Holding up the old days. Library into attacks. Eat. Eat. Glenelendra. Yep. Let's go to game two. Game two. On the play. Gonna keep this hand. Mountain Mox. Do nothing. Pass. Play a Soul Ring, bro. Library. Okay. Dak Faden's gonna hit the board. We'll uptick. This will be some great card filtering. Let's pitch the Mountain and the Brawl. Opponent draws. Passes. I like it. There's Glenn. We'll filter with Dak. I want to keep one of these lands since we have the Fury in hand. Pitch a land and a Snappy. Get Glenn down. Pest Infestation, targeting our Mox. Great card. Filter with Dak. Pester might. Let's get rid of this tap land and a mountain. I wanna keep some land because I wanna get this Fury down. Guess we'll hang back and protect our Dak. Let's tap our opponent's library on upkeep so they cannot activate. Wither Bloom Command. Let's counter with Glenn, keep our Pester Might alive. Guess we're not blocking the Pest Tokens now. Filter with Deck. Let's keep this land. Pitch the Shield Breaker and the Firebolt. We can cast the Firebolt from the yard if we need to. Fury coming down. Not gonna have any blue mana though to hold up Glenn. Pew pew, pew pew. Get in there for three. What's the worst the opponent can do? Mind twist. Okay, didn't like those cards anyways. Snuff out. Yeah. Oh, sweet days. Well, we can put these islands back. Let's draw the, off the canyon. Island. Perfect. I guess we'll get in there. Gonna hold this island for more card discard filterability with Dak. Opponent plays Custody Lich. I guess we'll sack the Pestermite. I want to keep Glenn around. Filter with Dak. Bribery. Nice. Probably don't need the days. And we'll put back an island. I hope we have other islands in our deck to fetch with this. Otherwise, that'll be really awkward. All right, one left. Perfect. We need to firebolt this Custody Lich. I don't want to have to sack another creature. This does leave Glenn's defenses down for a turn. But we get the Monarch. What's the worst that can happen? Nisa. Yeah, that's not great. Animating the Mutavault. I expect they'll take the Monarch back. No, both at Dak. All right. Filter with Dak. Land counter spell. Let's keep one of these lands. Put back Kiki. Probably not casting that card this turn. All right. Bribery with a mana up for Glenn. What do we got? Grief, Primeval Titan, Questing Beast. Opponents at seven. Two cards in hand. We don't really have a lot of cards left in our library in terms of fetching out lands with prime time. I think we take 
the questing beast here as it threatens Nisa and threaten because it has haste as well we can get in there plus it'll protect our DAC with vigilance so they do have thespian stage they must have dark depths in hand all right questing beast Glenn get in there no questing beast attack gallantly please perfect hmm chump I'll take it that's less mana Lely is a nice draw Filtering with the peatland opponent. Thoughtseize. No, I like my Lelia. Let's get let's take care of Glenn here to prevent having to discard Lelia. Okay. Opponent calls it. Let's go to game three. On the draw. Ooh, no red mana. This is another mulligan. Feeding that cat. This we can keep. Mox Ruby. We'll put back an island. And we'll note we have had had Mox Ruby in our opening hand every game, but we have mulliganed at least three times now total. Two in the first game and once in this game. Let's Spire Bluff into Is It Signet? Elvish Reclaimer turn one is kind of scary. No attacks, holding up Reclaimer. Incinerate was a great draw. Let's incinerate the Reclaimer and then get Grim Lava Mancer down. Reclaims in response. Just gets by you. Interesting. Probably going to get Witherbloomed commanded again. Ooh. Nothing. So we draw Kiki. It's the only card we can play. I guess we play Kiki as a 2-2 haster. Seems strong. Take three. Hoping they play something good for our treachery. Bone shards. Discarding custody lich. Liliana upticking. Yeah. Ooh, bribery. Looks like we're going to go get ourselves a 4 4 haster. Questing beast, very much. Thank you. This card is stupid. Deal four to the opponent and kill the planeswalker. Broken. Mind twist again. I didn't like my hand, anyways. Perfect. A mountain. I guess we'll get in there. They got half the combo now with Thespian Stage. Nisa. Pretty good. <laughs> Fury. Nice. And that'll do it. Match one down. Okay, here we go. Match two on the play. Keeping this on the back of Ponder. Yeah, let's keep these three with the power of Lelia. It's just too good. We'll put the bribery, then the Lelia, then the island on top in case our opponent's playing Thoughtseize. Opponents on Monkey. Let's just get the Shield Breaker down to block. Yeah, no attacks. Lelia's coming down. In for three. Opponent takes it. There's that Witherbloom command card. I guess our opponent's monkey's gonna get in there exile to mountain nice time to get in there with Lelia see what's up always attack with Lelia before playing your land pro tip not gonna be casting Kiki we'll get Glenn down and we'll definitely block the monkey with Glenn and we have days back up opponent gets in there with an exalted monkey Glenn will soak the hit persist oh yeah tap one more Oh, days getcha. No braids for you. <laughs> Game one, chill. Game two on the draw. Gonna have to mulligan this one with no red mana. Wish that Misty could grab a dual land, but it just didn't work out in the draft. We can keep this hand with Monkey Boy. Put a mountain back. Turn one, Elvish Reclaimer. That's a problem. Gonna need to deal with it. Incinerate's an answer, so that was a great draw. We'll get Monkey down since we're going to play a turn to incinerate. No attacks. Opponent holds up Reclaimer activation. We'll fetch an island. Incinerate the Elf Warrior. Reclaims in response and gets Dark Depths. All right. Now at least Dark Depths doesn't tap for mana. But I don't have a good feeling about this. Double Black into Vampire Hex Mage. Yeah... There's a combo sitting there. Let's see if our opponent F6 through turn. 
Doesn't look like they did. Well, we're not beating Merit Lodge. Let's go to game three. On the play, keeping this hand with Mox Ruby. Play the Mountain and the Ruby past the turn. Bosage you into Hierarch for the opponent. Dak going to come down. Filter with Dak. Let's pitch two lands here. Opponent plays Rabble Master with an Exalted Goblin token. Dak's taken two. Looks like Fury's going to get us out of this one pretty nicely. All right, there's a red card to ditch to Fury as well. Let's filter with Dak. Phantasmal Image. So let's plan to copy the opponent's Goblin Rabble Master with Fimage, and then we'll evoke the Fury to take care of their board. So we can put the Island and Incinerate back. We'll play Is It Signet, play Fimage, copying the Rabble Man, and then evoke the Fury. Pew, 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 pew. Getting in there for one. Snuff Out takes care of Phantasmal Image. Pearl, Bitter Blossom. Dak can't gain control of enchantments, so let's fill to a Dak. Though this is a punt, we should draw with the Sunbaked Canyon first, so we have more cards to discard to Dak in case we draw some real good stuff here. So let's go ahead and mark the counter. Yep, would love to keep both Snapcaster and Imperial Recruiter here. Out of all three of these cards, Recruiter is the strongest, as we can go search up Lelia. So let's ditch the Mountain and the Mage. Yeah, let's go recruit Lelia. Goblin token getting in there. Opponent losing one life to Bitter Blossom. Opponent casts Monkey. Always good. And Bob. Now we can draw with the Sunbaked Canyon. Turn late. Inferno Titan. That's nice. Let's filter with Dak. Land, land. Graveyard, graveyard. We'll play Lelio and attack before we play a land. And let's hold the recruiter back to defend Dak. We exile a Firebolt. That should come in handy. An opponent blocks with all their creatures. Unfortunate a little bit, but I'm okay with that. We can see a lot more cards with our Dak filtering than they will with their Bitter Blossom. And we have an Inferno Titan in hand, and they're holding nothing. We'll cast the Firebolt for two more damage. Opponent's Bitter Blossom deals them another ping. Vindicate for Dak. See you later, Dak. Your service was great. Need one more mana for Inferno Titan, so we'll battle display this Mox Pearl. Get in there. And then cast the Shield Breaker. Opponent takes another damage off their Bitter Blossom. Mizium Mortars. Aggressive. And there's a sixth mana. Something tells me this will seal the deal. Gosh, this Titan is good. Another damage to our opponent from the Bitter Blossom. Knight of Autumn. Great shirt. From Coalesce Design and Apparel but not going to get our opponent out of this one. And that should be lethal on board with the Inferno's pump ability. Pew, pew! Pump, 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 game. All right, match three. We're on the draw, and any hand with monkey is a hand we're going to keep. OP leads out on Zagoth Triome. We'll ponder turn one. That way we can dash our monkey turn two. And ooh, good thing we did ponder three lands coming up. Let's send those to any order and draw a fresh one. Library into mana vault from the opponent. Bribery, okay. Well, let's dash in a monkey. See what we hit. Ooh, we excellent exploration. I will cast that. Thank you very much. And we'll play a second land for turn. Library not going to do much with our opponent having four cards in hand. And another tap land from the opponent. Shieldbreak was a great draw as we can take care of that mana vault. Let's get out Lelia here. It's just going to be stronger than continuing to dash Ragavan. And maybe we'll hit a land. And if we don't, we can always still cast Battle Display with the Shieldbreaker destroying our opponent's mana vault. 
We exiled Dak, so can't cast that, so we'll just cast the battle display like we planned. And uh, Lelia and destroying their mana vault was good enough for game one. All right, well, that was super quick. Game two on the draw, Mox Ruby and Monkey in our opener. That means we're dashing turn one, and this is a snap keep. Another tap land from the opponent. Land, Mox, Monkey. Take two. Exile and a Gilded Drake, not gonna cast that one. Another land and pass from the opponent. So let's dash the Monkey again. Exile's a Flooded Strand, can't cast that one. And we'll just get a Baral down and pass the turn. Opponent fetches. Shocks in an overgrown tomb. An opponent dams our Baral. Damn. That's the power of sorcery, speed, removal, and dashing your Ragavan. Love it. All right, we'll get this Glenelendra down, holding up a blue mana source with the treasure. Uh, an opponent gives up. All right, then. And we didn't even cast the Kiki combo once. And how about that trophy? Thanks for hanging. Thanks for chilling with me here. Don't touch that dial and let's keep cubing.